Before we begin the adventure, one question remains. Do you want your main character to be a man or a woman? Uh, personally, I'm gonna go with a man. Wake up. You cannot explain why, but you know it even before you hear the increasing thunder of horse hooves. Something is wrong, danger is ahead. The sound outside intensifies. Shouting, screaming, galloping horses, the smell of smoke. You hear crackling. You see flames suddenly spreading rapidly across the wall and up to the ceiling. Do we open the barn door and get outside as fast as you can? Or go deeper into the barn towards the back door? But whatever's going on, I'm not just sprinting out the door to find out. So we're gonna take our chances going through the back. You move towards the back of the barn while flames and smoke spread all too fast. The smoke is insufferable. Your eyes are watering and your lungs burn with every breath you take. You are coughing loudly. You have to throw yourself to the ground. You crawl the final distance. You reach the rear wall of the barn where there is a small door. You open the door and crawl outside coughing. The barn is on a hill, and you look around scared. The village is under attack by riders dressed in black. They seem to be everywhere. Some are carrying torches, and they are lighting the houses on fire. Others have raised their swords ready to strike. Black Blades, he yells a man. Black Blades, the infamous soldiers of the king? But why? There are not any black blades nearby right now. A figure waves at you from the other side of the road. You recognize him. It's Helmar, one of the men from the village. You do not like Helmar. People say that he is a selfish. People say that he is selfish and would not hesitate to sell his own mother if he got a good deal. And he has been acting strange around you for a while now. He has never given you any attention previously, but lately, you have been noticing him keeping an eye on you. You wonder if he can help you escape the Black Blades. Helmar runs to you. Do you still have that piece of the jewelry with the crystal? He asks out of breath. You raise your hand and feel the crystal necklace hanging around your neck as it always has. The crystal necklace has always been yours. You wore it when you were adopted from the forest folk as a baby. Helmar nods eagerly. Good, good. Come, I can help you this way. He snatches your arm in a hard grip. Do we follow Helmar? Do we tear yourself free and find an escape route on our own? Uh, personally, I'm not liking the feeling I'm getting from this Helmar guy. So we're going to go ahead and try and tear ourselves free see what goes on i'll take care of myself you say and tear yourself free from his, helmar's grasp helmar's eyes turn cold not a chance you're coming with me he tries to get a hold of you again but you pull your knife i'll teach you a lesson you little forest spawn there's a reward for me, whether you're dead or alive, Helmar hisses as he draws his own knife. He tries to stab you, but you catch his knife arm with your free hand. You try to strike him, but he grabs hold of your knife arm the same way you are holding his. Helmar's arms are strong. You struggle to keep his knife away from yourself. We let him think that he is winning and then attempt a counterattack, kick him. Or try to sweep his legs. Uh, well, it's obvious that he's got the upper strength on me. The upper body strength. So let's see if Helmar skips leg day. We try and sweep his legs. You try to knock Helmar off his feet. And he is too strong. And his feet are well placed in the ground. So do we let him think that he is winning? And attempt to counterattack, Or do we kick him? If his feet is placed well on the ground and he's stronger than us, we only got one option. Nah, I don't feel like kicking him. 
So we're going to let him think he's winning and go for that counterattack. You give in to Helmar's strong knife arm and allows the knife to come dangerously close to you. Concurrently, you give in with your own knife arm. You twist your hand free and free it from his grasp. As Helmar's knife begins to penetrate your skin, you jab your own knife ahead. Helmar squeals with pain, but his knife continues its slow descent into your body. We're taking minus four life. Oof. Do we stab him again or push Helmar away? Uh, I think we're at a standoff here, so we're, we're going to just start stabbing. Desperately, you stab him again. Helmar goes quiet. He stares at you. His grip is loosening. You stab him once more before taking a step back, wriggling out of his grasp. Helmar is still staring at you, and then he collapses, face first, and goes limp. Shocked, you stumble away and gain 15 experience. A group of black blades on horseback are closing in on you. You look around desperately. On your left is a sheepfold. You can let them loose and maybe create a diversion, but you will have to be fast. On your right is a wagon with tree logs. If you open the side of the wagon, the logs will spill out, and maybe they will stop the black blades, but you will need to be strong. So do we release the sheep and create a diversion, or open the side of the wagon, holding the logs? Uh, well, Helmar was stronger than us, and we took a knife wound, so I'm not going to test my strength on the wagon. So we're going to go ahead and create a diversion with the sheep. You storm ahead and open the fold, allowing the frightened sheep to burst out. It creates a diversion. The black blades are forced to hold their horses. At the same time, you throw yourself onto the ground and crawl on all fours between the sheep. You manage to escape between two houses, avoiding the danger. And gain 10 XP. A figure appears behind you and puts a firm hand on your shoulder. Come along. Quickly. Run. You whirl around. It is Bajarki. It is always Bajarki who turns up when you are in danger. Bajarki is a lot older than you. He is the one in the village who is a forest spawn like you. He has always been like an older brother to you. You have never been able to figure him out, but you cannot think of anyone you would rather see right now. Bajarki has always been so calm, but now you see the fear in his eyes. We need to go. They are killing everyone. So what do we say to Bajarki? That Helmar tried to get a reward from the Black Blades? Or how will we get away? Uh, I don't think Helmar is really a care for me right now. Or Bajarki. My only instinct is to get out of this town. So we're going to ask how, we get, how we'll get away. We need to get to the Blacksmith's Forge. There's a way out. Bajarki gasps for breath and elaborates. They have surrounded the village, but we can escape through the blacksmith's mine. You sneak between two houses and get to the small road running through the village. You need to cross the road and continue along the houses on the other side to get to the forge. You press against the house wall, remaining in the shadows. You look to your left. Five men from the village, armed with pitchforks and axes, are running in your direction. You look to your right. Two black blades on horseback are riding towards you. They are about 25 meters away. You look back, and to much of your dismay, you see two black blades approaching on foot from behind you. One of them torches the thatched roof of the house as he passes. You do not know if they have seen you yet. Do we run as fast as you can across the road, or do we patiently wait? Uh... With the horses only 25 meters away, there's no way we could outrun them. So we're going to have to play patient, see if we can use the five men on our left. You signal for Bajarki to stop and wait. The men from the village reach your hiding place, but so do the 
two black blades on horseback. A fight ensues between the men and the black blades. Behind you, the other two black blades start shouting and running towards you. Now, Vajarki pulls you to your feet and you start running across the road. You try to run behind the two black blades, but one of them notices you and swings his sword backward. Vajarki manages to pull you aside, but the sword grazes your shoulder. It isn't until you have managed to get in between the houses on the other side that you feel the pain. Taking three points of damage. Behind you, you hear horrible screams from the fight. It does not sound as if the men are winning. You run as fast as you can. There, the forge. Vajarki points at the forge, which is just a single house away. Just at that moment, two black blades ride up behind you. Another two emerges from the side. You reach the forge with the black blades hot on your heels. You throw yourself through the door. Vajarki bars the door. Almost immediately, the black blades start banging on the door. Quickly, Bajarki eyes you up and down. You're wounded, he ascertains hastily. You find something in his belt pouch. It looks like a large dried leaf. Before you can object, he puts his hand under your clothes and presses the dried leaves against your wounds. It stings really badly. You shriek in pain. But then the pain abates, and you cannot feel your wounds at all anymore. Healing leaves from the savior herb, Bajarki explains. Gaining seven life, max HP. Bajarki shows you the entrance to the mine in the rear of the blacksmith's forge. He gives you a torch, and you move into the mine. But then Bajarki stops. He looks back at the door. It is not going to endure the beating much longer. He looks around with a strange expression on his face. At that moment, the door is splintered and a very large black blade tries to edge himself in. But Jerky grabs a hold of you, staring intensely into your eyes and speaking rapidly. Listen, you're important, more important than anything else. But Jerky gazes firm, the black blade frees himself from the door. Flee through the forest, head upwards. When you reach the vantage point, you should look for the large oak tree. You'll know it when you see it. Go to that tree, and the eagle will find you. He's a friend. He can help you. You are important. You need to escape. Unexpectedly, Majarki gives you a hard push. You tumble down the sloping mine shaft and drop your torch. Baffled, you look back at Bajarki. He has taken the blacksmith's largest hammer. You see the black blade closing in on him. Then Bajarki swings the hammer against the frame supporting the entrance of the mine. Wood is splintered, and in the matter of seconds, the entire entrance collapses with a loud crash. A cloud of dirt and dust hits you, and everything goes dark and quiet. Mm -hmm.